Hi, and uh, welcome back to our What and Why series, where we just try and look at a couple of things that we uh, believe here at New Beginnings, and we just do a little 10 minute video clips on them. So they're most definitely not in depth, but just try and give you an overview of how we see certain things. In today's clip, we are looking at uh, the church. Again, it's not a comprehensive look. If you want uh, a more detailed look at where we stand on some of these things, on the church, we do have a, uh, a um, playlist where we did a series of it on Sunday mornings. So you can get a little bit more info there. But for now, just a, a quick overview. So we're going to start off our little clip in, uh, in, in Matthew 16, 17 to 18, which reads, Jesus replied, Blessed are you, son of Jonah, for this was not revealed to you by flesh and blood, but by my Father in heaven. And I tell you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not overcome it. Jesus very clearly says that this is his church. He is building his church. And it's important when looking at the church to, to remember this. Jesus is building it, and it is his church. Uh, it's very good for leaders to never lose sight of that. This is his church. The church are his people. Uh, Paul says to the um, yeah, elders in, in Acts 20, he says that these are the people bought by Jesus' blood. They belong to Jesus. The church uh, belongs to Jesus. It is his bride for whom he is returning. Ephesians 1.22 and Colossians 1.18 tell us that Jesus is the head of the body. The church. So if Jesus is the head of the body, that means that we get our identity from him. It's the head that gives the, the rest of the body its identity. When you see the face, you say, ah, oh, that's John's and he's, that's John. Uh, when you see the body without the head, then it's just, it, it's a corpse. So we want to make sure that here at New Beginnings, it's very clear that Jesus is the head of this body. It is him uh, in whom we get our identity, but it is also Him from whom we get our direction. Uh, it's all passed from the head down, and we want to make sure that we remain connected to the head. And we want to make sure we're always getting our direction from Him, and that when people look at us, they can clearly see that He uh, is the head. Jesus is uh, building the church, but yeah, He's building it. He's not only the, the rock, He's the cornerstone. Ephesians 2.20 tells us that the church is built with him as the chief cornerstone. So whatever we do at the church, we want to make sure that it's built around Jesus. It's his body. It's, it, it's, his, it's his building. So as we said, we want to get our direction from him. We want to know what we need to do. We get that from, from Jesus. And he already gave us a mission and mandate in uh, Matthew 18 uh, verse 19 to 20 he says therefore go and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit and teaching them to obey everything i have commanded you and surely i am with you always to the very end of the age we've been given a job to do and we've been told where to go and do it we've been told to go and make disciples of all nations in acts 1 verse 8 uh, Jesus says, but you'll receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you to be my witnesses in Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria and to all the ends of the earth. So we're to be his witnesses in our local town, in our nation and throughout the whole world. Not one, then the other, then the other. It's important to note that it's, it's and. It's not first in your community, then in this place. It's, it's all together. And that's what we want to do is we want to have impact we want to be making disciples but all over the place at the same time he says uh, we must go and make disciples which is important we're not just looking to make converts and getting people into the kingdom we want to make disciples i think the church should be a place where there are followers of jesus true followers of jesus making true followers of jesus church should be producing disciples People getting coming into the kingdom, being trained, equipped, and then empowered and released to go and do the things that God has for them to do. Uh, we want to see the priesthood of all believers just being built up, uh, equipped, encouraged, and released 
just to go and have an amazing impact in the world around us, to influence the world around us. And as we said, we don't just do this in our own communities. We've got a mandate to the ends of the earth. So largely through our relationships in uh, linking and partnering with New Covenant Ministries International, we've got relationships around the world that we participate in. We go and visit people. We go and help in the training and the equipping and the building up. Uh, we encourage uh, guys around the world when they need a little bit uh, of encouragement. We we sow finances when there's need to sow finances. And um, yeah, so we, we're linked around the world. We want to have impact here in, in Penticton and in, in Keromias, but we want to have impact in our nation and we want to have impact across the world as well. The Bible gives us many pictures of the church. And uh, we don't believe that these pictures of the church are an alacard menu for us to pick from. We believe that we are to be all of these things, all of them at the same time. Uh, we don't want to take one of these pictures and say, yeah, we specialize in this. We're a, this kind of a church. We love to teach and that's all we do is teach. No, we want to be all of these things uh, as best we possibly can all the time. Uh, some of these pictures that are uh, put out there are, uh, in Scripture is the body of Christ, uh, the priesthood of all believers, the church is God's dwelling place. People should be able to come to church and find Him here, to know that this church is, is the, as we we're saying, the head of the body. It must be clear. People should have some God encounters here. There are another picture is with the family of God. He has adopted us as a, as a, and made us sons and daughters. And so we find family, but we find family with each other as well. Uh, the church is the bride of Christ, the house of prayer for all nations. So we want to be praying, a praying church, but not just for ourselves, not just for our own city. We want to be a house of prayer for all nations. So we, our prayer meetings are, yes, some of the stuff we're praying that we're facing as a church, our community is facing, our nation is facing, but uh, our prayer meetings are also for, for other nations. As we mentioned earlier, there's other uh, partnerships around the world. We pray into those. We pray for them. We stand in the gap for them. We just, yeah, do our best with it. Uh, the pillar and foundation of truth, of the truth. So we want to be... Uh, a place where the truth, Scripture is held, the plumb line of Scripture is held up and, and followed. Uh, a wineskin, we want to be flexible to accept the new things that God gives us. When He brings changes, to change us and take us from one degree of glory to the next, from one season to another season, we want to be flexible and be able to adjust uh, and move with those things. We're the army of God. We've got a job to do. And uh, we've got some kingdom advancing to do. And it's not always going to be convenient, but the job is still there for us to do. We're his army. So, as we said, we, we want to do all these things at the same time, as best we can. Uh, we may not always do all of them as well, but we do want to do all of these things all at the same, same time. I think if we can get them all done, uh, then, then at New Beginnings is a place where people should find Jesus easily. They should be able to be in His presence. They should be able to see Him. There should be a strong reflection of Him because He is the head of the church. People should find community and family in the church. We're all part of the same body working together as it builds itself up and makes itself strong. Uh, there's working together that's, that's needed. When you uh, are part of New Beginnings, not just from what you can get, it's from what you bring as well. You've got a part to play. You've got a role to play in the body. Um, people should find purpose. We were just saying you've got a role to play. You've got a part to play. But your role and your part is, not, is, is, is at New Beginnings, but it's not just at New Beginnings. It's in a way bigger context than that. We're in a kingdom context. It's a big context. Uh, you may be working it out while you're here at New Beginnings, but it's in a big kingdom context. Um, people should also find a place where they are able to be trained, equipped, built up, but then also released 
into the plans and purposes that God has for them. This is a, a very short uh, look at the church. There's One could spend uh, a much, much longer time looking at it. And as I said, on our YouTube channel, there is a series, one particularly looking at all the pictures of the church. So I hope this was helpful. And uh, until our next video, stay strong. Cheers.